corn has a real epic quality to the music. Do you, do you feel it has some of that classical motif in there? Well, definitely. We you know what dynamics are. I and mean, cl classical music's always been about that, is all the dynamics and all this stuff going up and down. And yeah, we do incorporate some of that. All of us have taken music when we were kids, so we know what's up. It's just, we never like put it, hit the nail on the head about it. So yeah, we definitely do have that influence. We try to not even listen to metal because we play it every day, you know. You know? Yeah. We yeah, play metal. I, I heard a story about Rollins. Yeah, heavy ass music, you know. Yeah. It's like go. We're gonna go on stage, play heavy music, and then come back here and put Sepultura on. We like Sepultura, but I listen to that like when I'm home or something, you know. You guys were high school buddies, is that right? Did I you go to high school? Yeah. Yeah. I was the one that picked them. Were you were you like popular guys, or did you I did was. you? I was the man. You don't even know. I was goofy. You were the goofy one. No, I was. I was a really goofy. But I was like kind of goofy. He was goofy. I, I was went a... to school with him. Yeah. Is it weird to have like all these adorable? Okay, then you were the guy picked on. Is it weird to have like an adoring crowd like crazy for you now? It's yeah, it is. It's weird. It's something I always dreamed about, and now it's like I'm living my revenge because I never got any attention back when I was a little kid. So yeah, are you ever gonna go to your high school reunion? I can't wait. I'm gonna come in in a helicopter. Is this like an arrested adolescent thing? People go corn, heavy, intense, and then there's like this totally like adolescent thing happening there. You guys, do you think you'll ever grow out grow of it? Up. We can't grow up. I don't, I don't know. know. How. I don't know. Yeah. We're being mellow right now because we haven't do this interview in another three hours when we're all drunk and oh man, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> And you're a dad now, right? Mm -hmm. um, does that put a perspective on uh, your life that wasn't there before, having yeah, children? Definitely. Once you have a kid, you totally go back and you understand why your parents did this and that, and it puts it in perspective. Do you ever worry about repeating the same mistakes, and how are you going to avoid that? There's no way around it. I mean, you can repeat. I can try, always try, but in the, one of the things I was always mad at my dad about was because he was always gone on the road, and what am I doing right now? So there's other there's things you can't you can't help but do. So I guess I'll get through it. It'll be better for him. I think that uh, kids and stuff that listen to our music they get out a lot of aggressions. And uh, I think, like, bad stuff happens to everybody, you know, when they're growing up. They get teased and whatever, and I think a lot of them like to come to the shows and listen to the music because um, what John Jonathan's expressing through his lyrics. Oh. Oh, the Sorry. And, um, yep, that's it. We cancel the show because of these cysts right here. See that? Those damn cysts. Because we got to play hard every night. Did you have to so, get those uh, operated on? Like, how did you get removed? Shots, painkillers, all kinds of stuff. Zone? Oh, yeah, and both of them. I had to. So, anyways, all, all the fans, the Canadian fans, were really upset with us because of the show canceling. And uh, we just wanted to say, it's all this. But we'll be back. We're going to go home and do another record, and you guys will see us probably. Uh, you can go to Betty Ford, more. clear up his Coke problem, and we'll be fine. <laughs> you guys are walking advertisements. All right. Thank you.